You know the economy is getting bad when people are transitioning away from expensive pickup trucks. Today, I read an article on Yahoo Finance put out by Jalopnik and written by Owen Bellwood titled, Pickup Sales Fall as Buyers Move to Smaller, Cheaper Cars. The author of this article referenced automotive news. Apparently, sales of large pickups were down 4% between January and March 2024. The dip came as buyers moved to light vehicles. The sales of light vehicles were up 5.6% during the same time period. Now here's some interesting data. Sales of the Ram 1500 pickup truck fell 15% and Ford's F-Series line dropped 10%. General Motors light duty full-size pickups declined 1.2%. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this may not be good news. A lot of auto manufacturers make huge profits from these large expensive vehicles. I sold cars decades ago while I was in graduate school. I worked at a Chevrolet and Cadillac dealership. I remember the dealership owner telling me that he really didn't like selling compact cars like the Chevrolet Cavalier because they just weren't very profitable. He said they had to sell a certain number of these cars to offset the gas guzzling trucks and SUVs, which is where the real money was made. As a salesperson, it really didn't matter to me because I got the same commission on all new vehicles. The real money could be made in used vehicles which were often marked up quite a bit. If some of these auto manufacturers are selling fewer expensive trucks, I have to wonder how this is going to impact their bottom line. I'm really not surprised by the decline in truck sales. These trucks are expensive and many Americans can't afford them. When I sold cars, we didn't have many people come in and pay cash. Occasionally, some local rich guy might come in and pay cash for a new Cadillac but that was pretty rare. Most customers were focused on the payment and if they could get approved for the type of vehicle they wanted. I never had any customers talk about whether or not they should take on an extremely large payment. Most wanted to know how much they could get approved for because they wanted the nicest vehicle possible. Many Americans today are struggling financially due to inflation and having a hard time paying their bills and a large truck payment just isn't going to work. Given that interest rates have increased in recent years, this makes financing a new expensive truck even more difficult. Now there are some guys out there who just gotta have a new truck. They just got to. Not that they really have a purpose for a truck. They just like sitting up high and looking cool driving to and from work. They would never be caught dead driving into the parking lot at work in a used Toyota Corolla. Some of these people may make a foolish financial decision and take on more of a payment than they can really afford. Then these vehicles end up getting repossessed. Getting back to the article, the author said the last eight years, large trucks accounted for more than 12% of new vehicle sales in the first quarter of the year. This peaked in 2020 when they made up 15% of sales. In 2024, they accounted for just 2.4% of light vehicle sales in the US. If this data is accurate, this is a huge drop. In my opinion, automakers better consider pivoting and find a way to make fuel efficient, inexpensive vehicles that are good quality and look cool that everyday Americans can afford in this higher interest rate environment. I think automakers need to stop focusing just on big trucks and SUVs and stop focusing on expensive EVs. I realize there are some people who need a truck because of the area of the country where they live or because of their occupation. However, there are some people who don't need a truck. They just want a truck. Some of these people can no longer afford a truck unless it is worn out with hundreds of thousands of miles on it. I've seen people asking some crazy money for used trucks with extremely high miles. I always wonder who buys these? Do you know? If so, tell me about it in the comment section below. I want to extend a special thanks to everyone who has subscribed to this channel. I want to also thank all of my channel members. Check out some of the great books that I suggest you consider reading in the description below. I've included Amazon affiliate links to these books. As an Amazon associate, I earn from qualifying purchases. Stay healthy and wealthy. I'll see everyone in the next video.